Stephen from History Hustle, and I'm standing in a presidential palace in Nanjing, China. And in this video, I'll talk about the Qinghai Revolution. It was a revolution that transformed China from a dynasty into a republic. The Qing Dynasty ruled over China more than 250 years, and after a string of lost wars and failed uprisings, it finally came to an end in 1911. And one of the most prominent figures in this event was Dr. Sun Yat-sen. From 1906, the Qing Dynasty encouraged its students to study abroad. Japan did this 50 years earlier and made tremendous technological and economical progress. However, for the Qing it had the opposite effect. Chinese students came back and saw and knew what was wrong with the regime and they wanted to change it and they were not the only ones. There were also Chinese businessmen and the new army and of course foreign westerners that criticized the regime of the Qing. Dr. Sun Yat-sen took part in eight uprisings against the Qing, which all failed. But during the one of 1911, which succeeded, he was not in China. He was in the United States raising funds for his revolution, which happened when he was away. The Wuxing Uprising was a series of uprisings that overthrew the Qing Dynasty. China became a republic in 1912, with as president, Dr. Sun Yat-sen. He soon ceded power to Marshal Yuan Shikai, who we might remember from the Boxer Rebellion. Now this man had imperial ambitions and was more of a military dictator. He died in 1916. What followed was an anarchistic situation with separatist warlords founding their own mini-states. But Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek came into action in 1925 and he conquered the northern regions, making China whole again. But not for long. Chiang Kai-shek at first welcomed the Chinese communists in his nationalistic movement, the Kuomintang. But later he saw them as a threat and this would lead to the Chinese Civil War, which I'll talk about next video.